Hey Canucks fans, bring on the Kraken and let's let this rivalry formally begin. I'm Canuck Clay. I'm the founder of the GLCPC, the Good Looking Canucks Positivity Club. This is my Canucks take on one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Saturday, October the 23rd. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely, and trustworthy. And as always, this vlog is brought to you by Perform and Transform, personal training and weight loss, Sign up for a free seven day trial now using the link in my video description. This morning, I was playing the piano at a wedding for my dear friend Angel. She married Marco, and my son Jacob was there also live streaming the Mass. A couple of technical hiccups, but nothing that we couldn't handle. And it was wonderful to, to witness such a wonderful sacrament and a wonderful ceremony. And tonight, I'm excited to witness something else. And that's the Vancouver Canucks beating down the Seattle Kraken and basically welcoming Seattle into the league. Seattle's home opener, our home opener is next Tuesday, so maybe this might be the two latest home openers in the entire league, but Seattle's home opener, playing against their I-5 rivals, the Vancouver Canucks, and uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited to watch this game. Maybe it's because it's Saturday night. Maybe it's because I don't have a lot of homework for my Masters. Maybe it's because I don't have any big work events for the rest of the weekend. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. And right away, I want to tell you that tonight... At 11 o'clock tonight, I'm going late night. I'm going Saturday Night Live, late night Clay's Canucks commentary impromptu. So from 11 p.m. to midnight tonight, win or lose, I hope that you will join me here, right here on my YouTube channel for a late night live stream. I can do 24 hours. I've proven that. So I think I can do one hour from 11 o'clock until midnight. So make sure you join me then. Okay. I always say that a rivalry doesn't really start until there's playoff history. Obviously, there's no playoff history with the Seattle Kraken considering they're just starting. But I can already feel that there's, whether it's Canucks fans on Twitter or the players talking about how important this game is, I know how how excited the Seattle crowd is going to be. So maybe we don't have to wait until a, a, a playoff matchup to actually kick off this rivalry. Maybe it starts tonight. Yes, the Seattle Kraken defeated the Vancouver Canucks twice in preseason, but hey, that's preseason. This is what counts. Regular season games, whether it's on October 23rd or at the end of April, these games count for real. In the standings, Vancouver is 2-2-1, so five points in five games. And you guys know my theory, my, my kind of, uh, you know, my theory when it comes to playoffs. I say this every video, but I, I got to keep reminding you. Go 500 on the road, win two-thirds of your games at home. That's 95 points. That's a playoff team. Well, the Canucks, they are five points in five games. They could come back with a win tonight, seven points in six games, and that's a great start to their season. So the Canucks are 2-2-1, two, two one, five points in five games. Seattle is 1-3-1 one, one for only three points in those five games. If the Vancouver wins, they open up a four-point lead over Seattle already after only six games. However, if Seattle wins tonight in regulation, then they go 2-3-1. and one. Same with Vancouver, 2-3-1. and one. So we'll have identical records after this game. Seattle doesn't score that much. They only have 11 goals in those five games and they've given up 19, whereas the Canucks have scored 14 goals and given up 16. So the Canucks score a bit more, they give up a little less, but we will see what happens tonight. And when it comes to Seattle, their leading scorer is a name familiar to Canucks fans, although he's bounced around to about three or four different teams now, Jared McCann, the 2014 uh, late first round draft pick. He is the Kraken leading scorer, five points in five games. Then Don Skoy, Tanev, Don Giordano, Everly, Wenberg, and Donato all have more than one point apiece. So we're not expecting an offensive juggernaut. This team fights a lot for some reason. Seattle has six fighting majors. I believe it's the most in the league. So look for that. See if there's any rough stuff. But don't expect a lot of offensive firepower from this team. They're built from the back end out. And that, of course, would be their, their goaltenders, Grubauer and Dreger. Let's talk about the Vancouver Canucks. Well, the Canucks are coming off that pretty uh, good win. It wasn't a dominating win, but it was a win over the Chicago Blackhawks on Thursday night. And they have JT Miller and Connor Garland, both with six points in five games. And then after that, a bunch of players with three. You got Hughes, Pearson, Pedersen, and Hoglander. And then with two points, Chase on Myers, Ekman Larson, and Horvat. So a lot of guys, there's definitely more points to go around than the Seattle Kraken have scored. A couple of lineup notes, really important to note. It looks like Thatcher Demko will be starting a net. And it also looks like Vasily Podkolzin will be sitting for a second straight game. Uh, tough to tinker with the lineup after a 4-1 victory, especially if the team's playing good, uh, feeling good about themselves. I'm not freaking out. I'm not freaking out that Podkolzin is being scratched again. If he gets scratched more than half the games, then I think we worry, or even a third of the games. But right now, yes, um, 
I guess this is the second scratch, a six that makes a third of the games. But yeah, you don't really want to tinker with a winning lineup. And secondly, there's there's no rush to bring him along. We want to see what he can do. We want to see what he can do playing extended minutes with good players. But at the same time, there's really no rush right now. And don't forget, Bull Horvat started on the fourth line and worked his way up. Sure, Horvat didn't get scratched. But I, I'm not too worried about it. Maybe you're not worried about it at all either. Um, it's just kind of one of those things that happens. And it's because the Canucks are a lot deeper up front than they have been in, in recent years, even with the injuries to Sutter and Mott. So the Canucks will likely line up the same way they played against Chicago on Thursday night. Up front, you have the lotto line of Pedersen, Miller, and Besser, a second line of Horvat, Garland, and Pearson. That means you have a guy with six points in Miller in the first line, a guy with six points in Garland on the second line. So it's nice to spread those guys out. Then on the third line, you have Dickinson between Highmore and Huglander, and the fourth line of Lamico, Dowling, and Chason. D pairings of OEL and Myers, Hughes and Pullman, probably Rathbone and Burroughs once again, Demko, Net, Halak backing up. So that means Podkolzin, Hunt, and Shen, likely the healthy scratches. Power play, always interesting because you want to see the Canucks do well and you want to see how they line up. It looks like they could go with um, two evenly evenly skilled units. I think on the top one, you're going to always have Hughes, Pedersen, Miller, Horvat, and it looks like Chason. And the second one, it'll be Ekman Larson, quarterback in that one, with Garland and Besser, which I like, Pearson, and then someone like um, a Rathbone or or maybe Dowling on that second unit. So I, I like that. That second unit is interesting because you have Garland and Besser, two right-handed shots. The first unit's kind of the more puck control one. The second one would be kind of more direct line, more shots. So we'll see if either unit is successful tonight. So I'm excited. I'm excited for many reasons. And don't forget, at the end of the game, I will do my post-game video. And then by commenting on that video, you have a chance to enter a draw. I said it was going to be once a year. Then I said it was twice a year. I might do it at the end of every month. I'm going to combine October and November, though, because we just started October. So at the end of November, I'm going to do a draw for anyone that's uh, been commenting on my post-game videos. Make sure you watch watch my post-game video to know exactly how to enter the draw for uh, a gift card to VanBase. So, after the game, look for my post-game video, enter the contest, and then look for me to go live at 11 p.m. Saturday Night Live, Canuck Clay, at 11 p.m. to talk about this game, win or lose. Shout out. Oh, give me your score prediction. So, it hasn't happened yet. So, I'm going to go Vancouver 4-2. to two, And the first Canuck to score, tonight I have a feeling it's going to be Pedersen. So, let's go 4-2 Canucks, Elias Pedersen scoring the first Canucks goal. Let me know in the comments below what your score prediction is and who you think will score the first goal for the good guys. Oi, Canucks fans. Shout out to my Hall of Fame members. No, to my hero members. Nux fan number 29, Justin Credible, Lucas Gates, and Andrew Chang. And to my Hall of Fame members, Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield. I missed one. Jens95, Sim Alexander, Chris Seifert, Adam Broomfield, Shannon Hollingworth, and Karen... Uh, sorry, excuse me, Carol Bovenlander. I still got to get that running smoothly off my tongue. Thanks for your, the support of all members of all levels. And thanks to all of you, no matter what level you're in. I appreciate your support. If you want to become a member of the CCC crew, press the join button underneath this or in my videos or the membership tab on my YouTube channel. Subscribe if you'd like to. Like this video if you'd like to. Become a member of the channel if you'd like to. Leave a comment down below if you'd like to. Score prediction and first Canucks goal scorer. See you after the game for my post-game video. And then I hope say Saturday Night Live, Canuck Clay Live, 11 p.m. tonight to talk about this game, win or lose. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves and take care of each other. Enjoy the game. God bless and go Canucks go.